Hi, a few days ago, someone talked to me on YouTube and asked for a review on how to use a power supply. We're going to see this regulated power supply from Unity. It's a very, very bad power source. Uh, I have another video uh, taken apart and showing what is uh, a piece of shit of a power source. Um, well, this power unit has three channels and you can change or regulate the voltage and the current but that is not important because you say well yes it's a power blah, blah, but why? Why we need to use a, a power supply unit? Can we just use a battery? Well yes, but what if we, if we want to power on a LED? If, you pl if I plug this LED to the battery the LED is going to burn out, yes, uh, because it works with a, a specific voltage and a specific current. And okay, well, we can solve that if we use a resistor. But if we use a resistor, we are going to uh, hit this resistor and uh, waste energy. And if I had another load, yeah, like a DC motor, this is a 50 watt DC motor, well I need another resistor to put with my battery. And if my battery is not enough, because it has enough current, well, I need to get a bigger battery, and so on. It's very difficult to to give the right amount of power to uh, to a device. So, for fixing or for designing, we use this kind of uh, power supply. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a very short uh, class, like I say, uh, about how to use this power source. Remember to subscribe, like, and to share if uh, you think that this video may help someone. Well, this power supply has three channels, channel 1, 2, 3, channel 3 is fixed, you can, you cannot uh, change the voltage, uh, it's 5 volt, um, channel 1 and channel 2, you can set the voltage, set a current limit for both of them, voltage and current for channel 1, this 5 and uh, voltage and current with these two selectors. If I power on with this button, <coughs> you will see that I can change the voltage in both of the channels. And if I plug uh, the banana coco drive cable that came with the power supply uh, to a multimeter, yes, I, I connect the cables and turn on the multimeter, you will see that there is two 12 voltage, 12 volts and the multimeter say nothing. So what's happened? Well, this power source has an output enable disable button, it's here, and when you push it, the LED turn on and the voltage came out from the, from the cables let's say voltage came out um, well 12 volts what can I say, well I, I can change the, the voltage up to 33, 32 volts uh, Fay amps is the max current um, well let's uh, turn on the LED for well first I need to say that both channels, channel 1 and channel 2, come, we can use it uh, independently, one of each other, uh, just channel 1, two cables, channel 2, two cables, you, we use it from for separate and it's alright, or we can use it together. If we use it together we can add the voltage or the current if we need more voltage than 30G. 33 that is the 
the maximum voltage of one channel or if we need more current than 5 amperes we just put it the channel in parallel well let's uh, turn on a LED with the power supply <coughs> I have a LED I put 3 volts for the voltage and I need to limit the current if I plug this LED to the power supply and give the maximum current available about 5 amps this LED is going to blow up so I want to take the cocoa rice uh, the, the out LED of the power supply I'm going to make a short circuit and um, I'm going to limit the the, the current about Four, five, six, six million pairs, and you will notice, or you have seen that this LED that shows or tell us that the limit current is active uh, is a way that we know that the power supply is uh, limiting the current. I'm going to take out the short circuit. You may you may have seen that the voltage returned to three volts. That is the the value that I have set before. I'm going to plug the LED 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 is in Spanish. Uh, well, the you may see that the voltage is about three volts and the current is three milliamps, and it's okay. The LED is is on. Well, how we know that this working properly? Well, we can say this. If we take out the LED, I'm going to short the cables. And I'm going to put 10 volts. I'm going to enable the output and I'm going to limit the current to 4 milliamps and if I take the short circuit out it returns to 10 volts if this was a battery of 10 volts it just blow up the LED but I have set a, a current limit so when I turn on the LED you will see that the current limit is active the current is 4 milliamps and e, the, the voltage has changed because the current limit is on if I unplug the LED you will see that the voltage returns to the, to the value that I have set before Well, let's turn on a DC motor. This DC motor is from Hitachi. It's a 24 volt, uh, 50 watt DC motor. Uh, I take it from a photocopy machine. And well, I'm going to set the 24 volts. And I'm going to turn the potentiometer of the current to the maximum value uh, I can take out 5 amperes but this uh, motor is 50 watts so 24 volt 50 watts it, it gets about 2 amps and a little bit more uh, the output is off so obviously the motor is stopped when I turn it on you will see that the motor st start on the current will increase the current is about uh, 117 milliamps um, the DC voltage is 24 the, the value we have uh, set before and uh, well it's spinning if I 
put a load on the motor, the load would be my fingers, you will notice that the, the current starts to, to go up. And can I, can I reduce the voltage so the motor start going slower, slower, slower. Or get to 24 volts and limit the current. I have set to the maximum so and it starts slowing now. I'm going to disable the output and you will see that the motor starts to slow down and then stop. Well now we are going to use the power supply in the series mode. We are going to add the two channels. We need to take the we need to put the load between the positive terminal of the channel one and the negative terminal of the channel two like this picture so positive channel 1 negative of channel 2 I connect this to the multimeter of course the output is off we see different voltages of the of the channel 1 and channel 2 uh, you may have seen in the In the power supply we have an inscription here that told us how to use the series or parallel. If the two buttons are out, it's independent channel 1 from channel 2. If the button of the upper side is pushed, it's in series, and if are both pushed, it, it's in parallel. So, I want to add the two channels in series so I am going to push the button from the upper side I'm going to take the zoom out so you will see that when I push this button both channels go to the same voltage and we are going to uh, set the value from the upper side uh, potentiometer of the channel 1 yes I want to enable the output from the for the power source you will see that the we add channel 1 and channel 2 and that is the value that we are going getting out of the power supply if I move the the value to another set you will see that the plus of the two channels is the value that is going out from the power source up to 60C volt that is the 33 more uh, add to 33 um, this is a limitation for this power supply uh, because if we want to test the backlight of um, the LD backlight of RTV that is about 18 19 volts uh, we cannot reach that voltage with this power supply and some audio uh, amplifiers may may use uh, a voltage about 90 or 80 volts and we cannot power that kind of circuit with this power supply but for uh, everyday electronics devices it's all right, and remember, don't don't buy this this power supply. It's very bad. If you like this video, and uh, share, like, subscribe, and if, of course, if you think that it may help uh, someone else, well, we see on the next video.